Alright guys, this is usually something that I do not do. A friend asked me to upgrade his computer and man, it's actually pretty bad. Uh, I'm going to show you, I put a graphics card in it and upgraded the memory some and this is on a compact. It's an old school compact. So... I'm going to show you how, there's a bolt here, take a Phillips head, take this bolt out, this is for the graphics card part, and basically access to the stuff that we're going to be talking about. Right. There's one bolt here on this model, compact, slides off the hinges, okay, already replaced power supply with the cheapest that I could find. It's uh, 450 watts, which I'm guessing probably 400. Uh, what we're going to do, this obviously is the extra slot. As you can see, there's four of them. That's the factory serial ports and whatnot that go you know, to your display and graphics that are built into the motherboard all right this is the one we're after okay after that plate is removed it comes straight up and out okay this happens to be in nvidia looks like 512 i'm just guessing yeah, there you go. If that's clear enough for you. NVIDIA 512. Uh, GeForce NVIDIA. Alright. That's the first means of business. Second is RAM. And I believe he's already maxed out. If I'm incorrect. This is your RAM. These tabs right here. You're going to want to push down on that side. And then the cluster, you know what, of wires on the other side. Push down that. There's only two channels that you can put the RAM in. So there's one stick. This is 512 DDR. And he said he replaced them at the same time. So that's going to be two sticks of DDR. In this particular computer, that is maxed out, actually. So, you make sure all the pins line up. Doing this with one hand, so cut me some slack, guys. There you go. And you're going to push, not forcefully, but till you hear that click. And until you see this pop back in. If it doesn't, you can take your finger. If it feels like it's seated, then you're good. And that's the same thing on the other. When you're replacing this power supply, you might be overwhelmed because you're going to have this harness. But it's pretty much plug and play. Goes to your hard drive. Watch what you take apart when you take it apart. Is the easiest thing that I can say. CD-ROM, DVD burner, all that stuff. It all comes off this main harness. Only one that's coming off that that's going to the directly to the motherboard is this one. Black and yellow wires. Alright, and that's what you're concerned about. Plugging that back in. So I was gonna do it for him, but he's already maxed out on this particular model of computer. So the expansion bays are gone. He's maxed. Uh, can overclock it, whatnot, but not even worth the time or effort. Pick something off of eBay for cheaper than that. And so what I'm going to do is put the NVIDIA video card. See back in the open slot? It lines right up just like the RAM does. Then you just push it down until you hear that click. 
They line up. Plate goes back on. Screw. This one's a Phillips head. Hopefully if you're messing with this kind of stuff, you know the difference uh, between a Phillips and a flathead. Tighten that back up. Good to go. Monitor, S-Video, ETC, ready to go. New power supplies in installed. That's just four bolts. It may not even bolt up correct, but you're gonna hang at least three or four volts uh, of the bolts, so you're straight. As long as you get everything plugged back up, you're good to go. This cover slides on just like that back into place this one's easy some of them are a pain but once you feel the threads catch you may have to play with it a little bit but you tighten it up once it's tightened that one's obviously not lined up correctly but whatever you get the point like I said I don't usually do these videos it was for a friend uh, there you go I'll do some more mods I'll show you how to do it on Macs and whatnot too if you want uh, just let me know thanks